Okay, what's up YouTube? Orangella here and um I felt the need to make a video about one Mrs. Joy Villa. If you don't know, Joy Villa is a relatively unknown pop pop singer, pop artist, whatever, and she appeared in the most recent Grammys, the 2017 Grammys, with a dress, a really nice dress by the way, that she Probably ripped off to reveal that she was wearing a Make America Great Again shirt, otherwise known as MAGA, MAGA, the Donald Trump slogan, whatever. But of course, niggas were up in arms about this because she uh, appears to be black, appears to be African American, but she's really a Brazilian immigrant who supports Donald Trump. Um, and niggas were up in arms about this. They went to her Twitter page and they called her all kind of disparaging names, um, you know, the usual, coon, self-hater, bitch, so on and so forth. I can only assume a majority of them were black females. Um, in the process, or consequently, um, in the process of wearing that Make America Great Again dress, which she probably wouldn't have made it onto the runway with if she had let them know that's why she concealed it to the very last minute um she made a good impression her sales skyrocketed over eighteen thousand percent that way yeah trust me um eighteen thousand percent which is i don't know what that equates to in cash but it's a lot of fucking money that tells me that the silent majority lives okay that tells me that the silent majority lives and that i don't have to be afraid anymore to come out the closet i don't i no longer have to be a closet trump supporter you know, it lets me know that there are like-minded people out there that support our president and support his ideas and feel the need for the solutions that he's come up with so that makes that really warms my heart big shout out to joy villa i salute you, you know, did something most of these fuck ass rap niggas didn't have the balls to do, which is stand up for the right thing. People are always preaching about, well, liberals are always preaching about freedom of speech, freedom of speech, and they don't want anybody else to have it. But freedom of speech and expression be damned. What about freedom of thought? Joy Villa demonstrated that she's free to think whatever the fuck she wants to think, regardless of if Snoop Dogg wants to shame her and call her a coon and a jigaboo, or if T.I. wants to call her a bitch and a hoe and and or if the young Turks want to tell her to go make a sandwich before they slap you, bitch. You know what I'm saying? These liberals, they're truly demonstrating themselves to be the scourge of our nation. And they're not doing themselves any favors. You know, they're not hurting the Trump supporters because the more they go, the harder we go. And that's why I'm so happy to find out that there are some true diehards like myself out there, okay? I knew our numbers were great, but I just didn't know how great our heart was you feel me so salute to all my trump sp supporters especially my black trump supporters you feel me because it's not necessarily the color of the skin that separates us but the ideas and um this is one time that i mean what's good for the goose is good for the gander but let me not get distracted with that um another thing that that comes out of this uh joy villa situation which I haven't heard anyone else ask is if by supporting Donald Trump, Joy Villa's sales went up, did all those other singers such as Madonna and so on and so forth and T.I. and YG, well not YG, he's nobody, but did all those other singers who badmouth our president, did their sales go down? I think it did. I'm going to do some research on that and get back to you with it, but I know it did. That's why they shut their damn mouths. They said one bad thing because they thought it was the way to go, because it's, they thought everyone was on this bandwagon, and when they turn around, their sales plummeted. So while they're thinking they're hurting Donald Trump and thinking it's great for him, what they did was dig a great for themselves in the process. I know that's a fact. I never thought about it before, but now I'm going to research. I promise you, those Trump haters, uh, Hollywood elitists, their profits went down. Joy Vila, I salute you, sister. You know what I'm saying? We're both American, 
and you are a special type of American. I salute all my Trump supporters out there, especially the black ones. All right. So um, hopefully uh, I can, God willing, I'll be able to speak to you next time. And um, that's what I had to chime in about. Joy Villa is a great person with courage because a wise man once said, Courage is not the absence of fear, but the will to proceed in spite of it. So again, I salute Joy Villa and all the Trump supporters for having balls and courage and saying what they mean, being what they say, and standing for something and not falling for anything. Till next time.